April 19, 1967, Surveyor 3 landed on the moon in the crater of Oceanus Pahalorum, the ocean of storms. With Surveyor's electronic eye, we view the lunar surface. With its mechanical arm, we dug a small, shallow trench in the lunar soil. Now, on November 14, 1969, 31 months after Surveyor's landing, men were leaving the Earth to land on the ocean of storm. Charles Keith Conrad, Richard Gordon, Alan Bean, the crew of Apollo 12, the second man landing on the face of the moon. Their target, the site of Surveyor 3. In space and on Earth, they checked out the system to be sure that the lightning had caused no damage that would endanger the mission. The time for commitment neared. The burn to send Apollo 12 to the moon. Translunar injection, TLI. Apollo 12, Houston. The good word is your go for TLI. With engine cut off, Apollo 12 was on its way to the moon. Now they turned around to dock with the lunar module and pull it free of the now useless booster. The next burn would place Apollo 12 on a new path to the moon. Previous missions had followed a trajectory that would allow them to loop around the moon and with no further burns return to Earth. But Apollo 12, in order to land at the proper site with the proper lighting, would break out of the free return path. Should a failure occur, a burn of the service or lunar module engine would be needed to get them home. They settle down to the routine of the outward flight. We're trying all these things that we didn't have in Germany, like space and shaping and uh, all the way up the ball up there. Roger. All dressed up and no place to go. So we're going to a place where we can get bigger and bigger all the time. Then on November 17th, they prepared for orbit around the moon. Thank you. 
L-O-I, Lunar Orbit Insertion, the burn of the spacecraft rocket engine that would place Apollo 12 into orbit around the moon. With this burn occurring behind the moon, there would be no communications with the spacecraft until it came over the lunar horizon. The command module, Yankee Clipper, the lunar module, Intrepid. Today, Pete Conrad and Alan Bean entered the lunar module, leaving Dick Gordon in the command module. Now the Intrepid and Yankee Clipper undocked and separated, preparatory to Intrepid's descent and landing on the moon. Okay, here you go again. As with the orbit insertion burn, the burn to begin descent was made behind the moon. Mission Control again contacted Intrepid as it came over the horizon. Intrepid Houston, how do you read? Hello, Houston Intrepid. Roger, we reach the last clear. We had a great COI burning. Well, we just watched the first Earth rise, which was fantastic. The Surveyor 3 target was located in the middle of five craters arranged like a snowman. The upper crater, called Head Crater. The body, called Surveyor Crater. Surveyor 3 is located in this crater. The object, to land as close as possible to Surveyor Crater. Then at 50,000 feet, Intrepid's engine fired and began the landing sequence. Okay, we're out of 19,000 feet. I got some kind of a horizon out there. I got some craters too, but I don't know where I am yet. Okay. We're at 564. Okay. I'm trying to keep a look out there. I think I see my crater. I hope they do. I'm not sure. Only 37. Can I have 364 feet? 364 feet. Oh, 
As Tom Lad and Dean began preparations for their first trip of exploration, men on Earth began their attempts to fix their exact landing site. They were aided by Dick Gordon orbiting in Yankee Clipper. major goal of Apollo 12 had been accomplished. For well, before men can engage in meaningful lunar exploration, they must be able to select a precise site and get there. But now it was time to exit the Intrepid and begin the exploration and experiments. Conrad climbed out first. Now, Pete Conrad selected a preliminary geological sample. Being left in traffic to join Conrad on the surface of the moon. Inadvertently, the television camera was pointed directly at the sun, causing the tube to burn out, the only unsuccessful aspect of the entire mission. Okay. Yeah, we have a flag up. Like I said, I hope everybody down there is proud of it. If we are to put it up, I'm going to tell you what you're doing. 